Hi, my name's Dan, and this video is one in a series of videos that I'm doing about using materials in Unreal. So the setup I've got here is uh, just a third-person setup uh, with nothing special added. And in this video, I'm going to be uh, trying to make a mirror uh, using materials. Uh, so there I, I've got to show two approaches. Neither of them are perfect, but the second one is more complicated, but better than the first. And actually, the point is to show you some of the technologies behind the the second method. Quickly, though, I'm going to just create a material um, using normal techniques that hopefully will give us some form of reflection. Uh, so I'm going to call it my reflecting mat. And... I'm just going to open that up to edit, and I'm going to give it a base color that's white. So, three vector. We'll click on that to open it up, and just whack that up there. And then I'm going to make sure the roughness is zero. So, constant E, if I can spell. Um, so that's set to zero, and I'm going to, rather than have to type constant again, just cut and paste that uh, to put that in the metallic. Uh, but I'm going to set metallic to one. And that should give us a highly reflective surface. Yes, it does. So I'm going to click to apply to save those changes. And I'm going to create a um, plane to put that on. I'm just going to stick that on the back of the wall. Move it up a bit and along a bit. Um, I guess there's a question. I probably should uh, scale one up, so I'm going to scale it up to two by two. Well, this isn't going to make any difference, and I'm going to apply that reflecting material to that. And that hasn't applied. That looks better. It's asking for the lighting to be rebuilt, so I'll build that because it's a visual thing that we're looking at. Uh, so it might help make a difference. And um, you can build lighting only when it has that thing up there. It takes a few seconds to do. Um, but for something fairly simple like this, it doesn't take that long. And I'm going to play and go and have a look at our mirror and see what's going on. It's a little bit high for us to be able to see very well. It, there is a mirror, but it's kind of blurred. It's showing the steps. Um, I think it looks a little bit like it's further down inside there, but it's not too bad. Um, so let's drop that down somewhat and have a look at that. So the, the visuals in that mirror are slightly odd. Um, and with every version of uh, Unreal that goes by, these reflective mirrors seem to get better. Uh, but it's still quite weird. It's as if you're kind of looking in some kind of warped mirror. Uh, let's see if we can do something a bit better than that. But it is a bit more complicated. I'm going to um, copy and paste that. Let's have it. We've got a second one. This is the right side, which we're going to use for the other one. So we can get comparison of them head to head. Right. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to quickly talk you through the process. We're going to use effectively a camera. We're going to place it as if it's at the surface of the mirror. And we're going to get that camera to render to uh, effectively to a texture. It's a thing called a render target. And then we're going to use that inside our mirror. So we're going to need a camera that will do this job. Um, and um, they're actually called captures. Uh, so what we want is a scene capture 2D. which is going to give us a two-dimensional capture. 
uh, of the scene. There are other options here. The, uh, the other one that I've seen used for mirrors is the scene capture cube. And um, I confess I don't fully understand the differences between these, um, but I've certainly had some, some success with both of these, but they're slightly different. Yeah. Let's orient this and put it in the right position. So what we want this to be is kind of sat in the middle of our mirror uh, so that effectively the mirror is looking at whatever's outside in the world. <coughs> Excuse me. And back onto the inside of that mirror there. Just kind of embed it in the, in the mirror. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is we need to uh, uh, have this texture uh, that, as I said, it will render to, and that's called a render target. And we need to create one of those as an asset. So I'm going to right click down here and go to materials and textures. And the one that we want is just called render target. There's also a canvas render target. I don't know what's the difference with that. There's a cube render target, which is one that's meant to go to pair with uh, scene capture cube up there. Um, we just want a straightforward render target, and I'm going to call it my RT render target. We're going to go back to the scene capture 2D. It's still actually um, that camera is still selected, and it's asking me what the render target is. Um, there we go. So a render target is a special kind of uh, texture or um, uh, um, yeah, yeah, surface, or I think of it as, but it's not really a surface that will take the output from one of these uh, capture devices. And then we want to create a material that uses this. And uh, the materials interface understands that a render target can work as a texture. Uh, so we can uh, do that. It's fairly straightforward. So we're just going to create another material and call it My Mirror. And open that up, and we're going to pull that, no, that's itself, pull that render target in here, and plug that in. So, it, it, as you see, it calls it a texture sample, even though it's a render target, not a texture, uh, but it's a very similar uh, thing. And we're going to stick it onto the base color there, and that then should be displaying what we uh, have as the output from that camera. I wonder if you guessed what the uh, small wrinkle is going to be on this. Um, so, ah, so the first thing that's happened is I haven't actually applied that to uh, our second mirror. So I need to get past the my mirror one. Uh, so I because it's still got the reflecting to it's a little bit darker. Um, the settings are a bit odder. Uh, it's more graphically uh, correct, uh, which is good. It has this effect that when you get closer to it, you, you look like you're really big. Um, and that's as a a feature of the fact that it's actually using a point camera rather than using the surface for reflection. Um, but the other thing, the, the really obvious thing, is that it's working more like a CCTV screen rather than a mirror because um, as I go left, it goes right. So it's not actually reflecting what we're seeing. Uh, that bit is fairly easy to fix. Uh, so we're going to go back into the mirror. Uh, so if you use the um, the cube one, one of the uh, good things about it is that it's it's really easy to do this. Is that you can drag off here and you can put in uh, reflection reflection vector ws. Uh, however, if you try and plug it into a two D, that doesn't work, and there doesn't seem to be an equivalent that I found. But it's fairly straightforward to work this out. So what we want is the uh, the UV coordinates, and if you don't know what UV coordinates are, you need to 
watch my previous video about textures. Um, uh, so texture coordinates, but we need to inverse the U coordinate, which is the left to right one. Uh, so we're going to break this. Uh, so break out float two components. Now it's calling them R and G because um, it's used to the idea that you might want to do this with uh, with colors, but actually it's a texture coordinate, uh, texture coordinate, not a color. And we're going to take the R. Which is equivalent to the to the u coordinate, and we're going to do one minus, um, so that inverts it. <clears throat> so normally it's between naught and one, and now it's turned it to be between one and naught. Um, and we're going to drag out from here and do a make. Uh, so make float two, which is the equivalent opposite node, just going to stretch things out a bit and move things. Spend ages moving things around in Unreal to just make your wires fit. Um, and plug that one into there. And this is the, the up-down. We don't want to invert that. Uh, so we should be fine. Uh, let's apply that and see if it's worked. Uh, so I am now ignoring the, the lighting rebuilding thing. Um, and hey, presto, Bob's your auntie. Um, our reflecting is working perfectly. The other thing is that it's it's a bit kind of wide angle. And let's see if we can fix that. Now, I can never remember which element this is actually in, but I think it's in the, um, it's either in the camera or in the render target. Let's quickly open it up. There's the render target. It's giving you a size. Um, one of these gives you the angle of view. Um, and I think it might be in the camera or in the render target. So let's go back. Uh, close all those down. <coughs> Excuse me. And highlight the scene capture 2D. And inside here we've got perspective. Here we go. Field of view 90. I'm going to bring that down to 45. So it's going to narrow a field of view. That's in degrees. Um, and it won't fix it perfectly, but it looks less like it's a wide angle vision. On that, um, it's it's not perfect. I would probably want to tweak this a bit in several ways to make it seem a bit better. Um, if I was using it in in a world, it all depends on exactly what I want. So one thing that I uh, could do to avoid this uh, this kind of effect of it getting too big when you get too close is to actually have the camera set behind the mirror, <coughs> um, because that plane is only rendering one side, it will only it will see through it. Um, I can't then have the mirror on the wall, because if I put that camera behind the wall, it will just see the wall. Um, so if I do that, then that's that's a bit better and it kind of looks more reasonable the other thing you could do is to have that set back and have a barrier so that you can't get too close to it or you could fiddle with the settings until you're you're happier with it the other thing that is that it's a bit dark and there's a whole lot of settings in there to change how it renders um and if i wanted it not to look like it was a, a slightly imperfect mirror because it's giving us a fairly dark reflection I would need to be messing with those settings. However, that mirror, I hope you will agree, uh, is a better mirror than that one. Although the lighting is better in this one, but you can't really see very well because it looks all sort of blurred and odd. Um, so, I have nothing else to say on this, so that's it from me for now.